it's Rocky here. Welcome back to Game Loop Cosplay. Today we have another new game to be added onto the channel, and that is right. That is Gears Pop. I've been wanting to play this game. I pre-ordered it when I heard about it back at E3, and I really wanted to play it, and it's actually really, really fun. Now, we're going to be opening up some packs today. I let some time go by, so I don't use a lot of these here, right here. These gold little fragments, gold dust, gold fragments, however you want to call it. And you're going to need them later. I'm just doing this as a first day video for the channel. But what you're going to want to use them for is definitely using it for like this deal here. It's going to be way more worth it than using it for quick access versions and also this bad boy right here. I would recommend saving up. It's going to take quite a bit of time, but the rewards are definitely, definitely worth it. If you look at here, you get 2,239 common, 463 silver and then 77 of those epics so you get a 22 percent chance at epic which is really really good odds really really good and the sooner the better the sooner the better because okay so that's 2250 if you save up that is worth 20 dollars worth of this this here this this pack is worth 20 dollars so save them up do that. I've already got some of these characters leveled up. This is going to be the basis team that I have for quite some time until I feel different, until I get characters that I feel more comfortable with. But right now, this is what I'm very comfortable with. I'm not going to give you get my strategy away because the strategy is for, for me. I may do a different team build and show you guys a strategy of what you guys can use eventually. But I just got into Arena 2, literally, by two little gears, <laughs> as you can see right here. We're gonna take a look at this. So I've won 12 matches. I've got seven leader kills. Pins found 11. My favorite is the Locked it, Lock Locust Drone. Now, before we get too into this, I'm actually playing this game before any Gears of War game that ever. I've played maybe like five minutes of the first Gears of War game sometime last year, or actually maybe even two, three years ago. And I never completed it, which my goal is to complete those games. But, uh, so I'm learning these characters through this mobile game before I'm even learning from them on the actual counterpart games. They're actual full games. So, let's see what we get on this first pack. I love the way it, and the animation is too. It's super cool. Cool. Now I can upgrade my Butcher. Noise Lancer here. Augustus Cole. I'll take that. Sweet. So let's go ahead and upgrade this guy right here. This Butcher. It's going to upgrade him quite significantly. And it's going to give me some good XP. Also, if you're going to want to quickly increase your XP, you're going to want to do the, the, uh, I guess the little guys first to do it quickly. But I'm not quite doing that as of right now. I'm doing what I need the most. And I need my butcher up there. So, that's not bad. Increase his attack speed. Alright, now we're going to open up this one here. 15 common. One silver there. Coins are going to be very useful. And yeah, sweet. The more the better. The more the better. The more you can get the on the lesser levels, the more those basic characters are going to come in handy because you'll be able to level them up a lot faster. Like this right here. Seven grenader. Not bad. You get a good amount of those. I'll take that. And it looks like these are all just arena one. All arena ones, not arena twos. Right here is going to be the big pack right here. Here we go. I'll take that. Ink grenade. These guys are pretty useful behind your butchers. Lancer gear. Augustus Cole. Kate Diaz. Not bad. So let's see who we can level up and who we want to level up. 
I don't really use Augustus too much. him up get some XP from that as well Ooh, we get double level up here do we have enough heck yeah we're gonna level him up again Buddy. This is one of my games that I like to do that's going to be passing time when I'm farming out for Dragon Ball Legends and all that good fun stuff. This is my in-between game to do that and we're probably going to get a level up here too. And the max current level is maxing out at level 20 and this puts me at level 4. Sweet. These are all the pins that are available in the game right now. There's definitely going to be more added. This is just the beginning. It's going to be intense. It's going to be insane. I can't wait to play more of it. And let's go ahead and jump into a battle so you guys can see what it looks like. And this will be my first Arena 2 battle. See how we do with my level ups, the minor adjustments I've done. It's going to be pretty nice to see what I can do. It is a little glitchy though right now. I mean, it is still very early on, but it does glitch up a little bit at the beginning. Or once too many characters get on the screen, it'll stop like right now. It'll just stop. And that's what messes the game up right here because they could be going way faster than me. It could have something to do with my internet. I'm not 100% sure, but I mean, it does mess with the game. My gameplay and figuring this out. And trying to whoop some booty. Notice if you get past all these points here, you can like capture each guard cover guard there, and uh, you can capture those to, to advance in further into the next part of the stage. And Not bad, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun if it weren't glitchy. And it's telling me I don't have enough power, but I do, and I know I do. But it could have to do with my internet. We'll see when I bring it over to my fiance's sister's house to see if it runs smoother there. If that's the case, then yeah, it's my internet. Also, I didn't mention, but I'm filming it this with a different lens. I didn't adjust the setting for in the you know interior, but I should have. This is gonna, this is gonna make a break me right here. Big time. Big time. Maybe a loss. Maybe. This is definitely a loss. Yep. Unfortunately, it is a loss from my first gameplay here. Not bad, though. 
as to see what I am having to deal with right off the bat of the game. Hopefully, when I go over there, it is just an issue with my internet and it's not an issue with the game. That's going to be the, I guess, beneficial part if that's the case. And look at this, look at this. Your, head little, your little head pops off. No gore. Now I'm brought back down to Arena 1. Oh, no, you stay in Arena 2. Maybe? Let's see. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be brought back down. Oh, okay. I did not get brought back down. You also have Boot Camp that will help you uh, practice strategy. And pretty much build the tactics on how you would you can play and how you'd like to play it gives you a lot of good tips and tricks i would recommend doing boot camp asap the tactical challenges and i don't know when they refresh and uh yeah but they're there it's there to help so make sure you guys are doing that and these are arena 2's uh pins you can achieve phoenix reina Sentry, that's going to be handy. Snub Soldiers, Long Shot Gear, probably long distance there for sure. Stun Grenade, and the Wretchers. Wretches. Oh, this is going to be pretty good. What is their ability? Number of troops, five, and they do 12 damage a piece. Woo! 15 damage per second. I like that. I like that a lot. Cool. And also the final thing that's really cool, that's different, is this horde mode here. You can go in with the with any of your teams here. I'm on a team of 50. And uh, you can raid in this mode and achieve rewards. I'll show you a little bit of that right now. If it'll let me. Okay. So if you press battle and you click the difficulty, it shows you what you can achieve. Get 300 coins if you defeat it. 300 coins, and then this here. You can get one pin. One. Not bad. Not bad at all. And apparently, you can just carry a thousand thumper inventory stuff here, which is like your entries into the rewards. So that's pretty cool. So, if you guys enjoyed this video and want more details on what I can find out for you guys and strategies and all that good stuff, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite, and share with a friend or two or three. I'm going to continue tweaking with this camera because I think I like this one. It's giving me a lot of bulk on the background, but it's giving me clear visuals of this, this face right here. So, you guys let me know what you guys think of the camera and the quality of that. There's just one setting that I missed which is changing the light to interior lighting for the camera. So, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite, and share with a friend or two or three. I will be bringing Dragon Ball Legend content soon. Don't know exactly when, but I'm going to be doing something a little bit more different in my filming things to be more consistent with uploads for future uploads. So be on the lookout for that, and uh, let me know if you catch it in my videos and see if you guys can notice uh, what I'm talking about. As always, live free, work hard, and based on join me probably tomorrow for some Dragon Ball Legends content or later today. I'm not 100% sure. At some point, Dragon Ball Legends is going to be back on the channel, especially with my boy, my boy Hit coming out. You guys know what it is. I've been waiting for this for over a year now. <laughs> Bye, guys. For more daily content, subscribe here. If you want to see more of my daily life and behind-the-scenes stuff, subscribe here. If you want to see some other games I play, click here. Also, if you want to check out my main channel for dance videos, topics, and solo adventures, click here. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload new content on all my channels. Bye, guys.